Konnichiwa. I just want to say thank you so much for the dancing for the kids, for producing The Ordinary Man. This is The Ordinary Man for those who don't know who is The Ordinary Man. So this is The Ordinary Man here. And today is a sad day to me because one member of the Dancing for the Kids is leaving. She was here for three days. Now she's leaving me alone. Since yesterday, really, our, my, down, my morale has gone down because she's leaving me. But she promised me to come back. And thank you so much for the Dancing for the Kids to produce The Ordinary Man. That was my dream from many years, but it came true. Thank you. and uh, dancing for the kids. My name is Patrick. Uh, I changed to Patrick to ordinary man because the things that I do, I do it in the rural area, taking care of my children. For you, Chrissy, is really, you are a mother of all these children. Okay, good, what's your name? Look taller. Nice, thank you. And what's your name? Christina. Zenda. Zelda. Everybody says you can sing. Yeah, everybody says you can. Happiness. There's not many answers across the horizon. It's tempting to stay on the shore There are many sailors returning Heartbroken, grounded Or sails torn apart I know there's an unsettling feeling About my presence here in the world The road goes forever on and I see only you in the coming expanse. My involvement is through Chrissy. Um, she introduced me to the work she's doing uh, about two years ago now. And uh, through that, we've been supporting two sisters in South Africa. And actually, this type of work has become a big part of who we are, what we do now. Um, I've been importing rooibos, very special South African tea, um, into Japan for a number of years now. Uh, and I think the timing was right to try to give back something to South Africa. Uh, 
we have a website called Roibos Cha, Cha being uh, the Japanese name for tea. Mm. And actually, I'm in the process of changing that CHA to mean something different. It's no longer just about tea. The CHA is about cultivating hope and awareness. Where the hope is for the kids. Um, I mean, the kids that, that, that um, Dancing for Kids is supporting are in an area of South, uh, of South Africa that is very impoverished. Uh, a lot of the people in this village, Ganduzuani, have died of AIDS. Uh, and a lot of ki kids have been left um, parentless. They themselves are infected uh, with HIV. So they're in this impoverished area and w without parents. So they're the worst off in a very dire uh, situation. So if anybody needs help, it's these kids. And there happens to be a person, Patrick, um, who also has a, a tremendous life story, who's given his life to supporting these kids. And I think he really touched Chrissy's heart, and uh, as he does many people. And he's just bring it, bringing it all the support, a lot of it through Chrissy. Um, she's created such a fun, uh, fantastic network. Our CHA, our CHA now is about cultivating hope for these kids, giving them some opportunity in life, giving them some, something to look forward to. Um, firstly, ensuring that they are uh, well, that they get the right medication, that they get, the, get uh, fed properly, um, and give them dreams that every kid deserves and keep their smiles on their faces. Then, of course, the, the, the A, the awareness, is about uh, making more people aware um, of these kids' existence um, and trying to drum up support from within South Africa, from around the world. Uh, I mean, something that Patrick has often said is it's just fantastic. The Japanese people have been so supportive. People in Japan, uh, including Chrissy and, and many others that Chrissy's brought into the camp, They've just been so fantastic, and uh, everything's just coming to place. It's just something that I feel we need to do. It's um, we've got this, a very special South African product, and we've got very special people that I've just come to 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 know, and I want to continue um, make sure that the the process continues as it is. But um, I think tonight was also very interesting for me, just to link it with Zed, mm. in that. Um, just watching the show, it's very inspirational, I think, for anybody as to what human beings can achieve. Um, people, if they have the right dedication, can achieve incredible things, uh, whether it's physically, mentally, or in business, or whatever. Um, and if we can uh, channel some of that incredible energy, incredible, incredible capability um, to help others in this world, then we should. I think we need to keep it going. That's the first step of, of what we want to do. The second step is to try to create something more sustainable. Um, how do we make Two Sisters and, 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 and the greatest around in their village more sustainable? How, how, how can they earn a living? Um, how can they, they develop a, a pride in themselves um, through doing something that's really supporting themselves as well? I could have chosen to seek out the dream world where all your wishes come true Or I could have chosen to remain in silence without questioning all that I see I'll try to be as clear as I can Even though it's in my nature To hide how I feel There's one way, one road, one time One life and I'd be a fool If I don't share it with you I received the demo of the man, the ordinary man the first time I heard it, I cried. How can you uh, real, uh, compose a beautiful song for me? You changed my life and you made my life. I was in prison 
uh, with Nelson Mandela, but really uh, you have uh, cured my scars of prison. Oh, 
Freet. Punt. Toot. Freet. Fault. Fault. Five dancing four kids. It was a wonderful idea. I heard that this on the website. And then uh, I decided, well, from Julia and Douglas, some part of the artists of the show, they said, oh, okay, we're going to create that video. So who wants to dance and be part of it? So I said, yes, why not? Because I've been dancing a lot in my life. And uh, right now, not really. I'm involved with the surf, but not as an artist. But this dance is always in part of me. I think it will be part of my life. And I think that's what I would love to share with the kids and that kind of project that dance is a, how would I say, it's a form of art that celebrates life. Because movement keeps your body, it's related to be alive. So more you move, more it's good, it's a healthy way to keep your body and your mind alive. So I think for kids, who love to play and love to jump everywhere. Dance is such a good way to express your soul, to express your emotions. So I think that way of, uh, for that project, Dancing for Kids, to help them, for those specific kids who are sadly, but they are going uh, through difficulties in life, it's a nice way to help them and then if they have a chance also to dance and to play in their ground at home, well, I think our joy was there, our spirit was there to dance for that project, and then it's always with them. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a way to send a message to give them love, light, and health in their life. It's funny because I, I decide to, to do something and I changed my mind at the last moment. The play I was doing because I thought to do breakdance because I used to do breakdance. Mm -hmm. And oh, I decided to instead to be a clown in that, that project mm -hmm. just to, to, to dig in my inner child and to be allow myself for that project to, to have the same kind of energy if you want, yeah, you know, yeah. to play. Yeah. Because as an adult, often we forgot to play. We do. Because there is a lot of regulation and sometimes difficult news that we hear and things like that. So I think it was a privilege for me in a moment to, to share my yout inside and it's still there. Yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah so. I think it was good to, to do that. Yeah. And to laugh, to smile, try to put good energy, good vibe, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, maybe to, to put a seed somewhere in the heart the heart of a child to make it grow you know mm -hmm. so why not I think uh, it was a good day to do that yes yeah, sure. it was fun planting the seeds for yes. the child yeah, yeah yeah because you can plant a seed flowers plant fruit tree blah 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 but, and other stuff too you know mm -hmm. emotion mm -hmm. you can put a seed of, of a start of a, a questioning and or decision mm -hmm. it can be subtle it can be uh, more precise mm. and the time there is no time there is can be a huge gap between the seed it's there and it grow it mm. can grow 30 years later uh, but the mind of a child you, you give a chance to personalize per personalize mm -hmm. uh, that seed too you know mm -hmm. but to make it good energy good vibe you know because mm -hmm. I think um, Laugh is very important, and yeah. you know I'm I'm around close to 50 years old, and I don't have a child. I have a nephew, you know, so I've been a little bit. I've been teaching kids mm -hmm. sometime too, um, but I realized that very important than adult. You know, I like circus. Uh, when you see a child play in the sand, it's the same thing that the circus because the the only thing circus you have a budget. You have uh, time that you you need to open the doors mm -hmm. for the public. You have, but the child go an improvisation. He know that he can play with the element and please himself at the moment. So I think circus allow the people to witness kind of that that kind of energy that told you the out, you know. Yeah, yeah. But you can go further. You can you can decide to use different road to do that. Like that day, I decide to be the clown with with the. Pro and Anatoly is the main clown, one of the main clown in the show. So it was interesting for me to to look, maybe put a 
that experience put a seed inside myself too. Mm, yeah. So I, it, it, it was interesting and just to um, to be able to think that, you know, to not to be generous, but just to be there sometime for other people, you know. I think it's very important, you know, and we we win one all family in the planet, you know. Mm-hmm. I think in the planet, if one person suffers, there is part of you suffer. If one person smiles, you should smile, you know. So I think we, we just want to be... I don't believe in frontiers, you know. I believe more in the opposite. Mm-hmm. Try to, uh, to combine energy and to be all together. It's what I believe. So that day, I think it was kind of just a time. It's just a small capsule of time to be all together, you know, mm-hmm. and try to, to make good, good vibration and good energy, good emotion and seeds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And seeds, as you say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a great point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was fun, and it was fun, it was outside, we play outside too, you know? Yeah, sure. We are inside, we forgot sometimes, and just outside, and just to play in the grass, to, to, there is a tree there, you know, you, just to play like, you know. So, so you can use those natural elements yeah, quite sure, well. Of course, yeah, sure, of course, and you can, you can play with it, you know, and just, not destroying it for sure, but just to be among them too, you know? Mm. Nature can be funny too, if you look at the form, you know, like a tree. Sometimes the branches are very, we just see as a tree, but look, the shape, something can be amazing. You can see a face, you can see, you know, a, the grass too, depends on the wind that we push it. There's so many ways, cloud too, you know. I think everyone's in his lifetime will look at the cloud and try to find some a sheep, I, I don't know, something else, you know. So I think the kids have tendency to do that, they will forget. So I think just to be all together again, to be a child and put good, good seeds about, you know, good vibe. So I think... That was for me. Was a privilege to do that. Fantastic stuff. So you, <clears throat> you, you're so used to working inside with this, of course. And you say getting yes. outside. Yes. Yeah. Do you, can you take anything back inside from that? Of course. Mm. Of course. I think um, I, I try to bring back my experience, my life, and when I perform, it, it's not necessarily just the technique. The technique is just. Uh, it's like the recipe. It's not. It's not the taste. A recipe. It's not the taste. The mm. taste is the person mm. who will experiment it. So when I'm doing it, I experiment at the moment exactly, and at the moment I can wish things, and I wishing that what I wish, the people can maybe read it. If there's just one person who read it mm. in the audience, I think it's I, I achieve my work, you know. Mm. And the emotion, it's what it's serenity, peaceful. Mm. Uh, because my kind of act is kind of it's kind of very neutral, serious. Mm. It's not funny. It's not dramatic. But it's in the base, mm. so it allows the people, I think, to uh, just sit down and to to be curious again, to observe, to look. So I think the child of that, the agility of ah digging in the sand to you know look under a rock, you know, and sometimes we forget we just hey it's there. No, I think it's it's just to remind us that we all a child inside I was I'm around 50 but I still have my experience when I was younger in me mm-hmm. so uh, and those child will be older you know a little bit and you know so I, I think it's it's it, we all experiment mm-hmm. the matter mm-hmm. the life mm-hmm. and it's good to play with it with good with good roles with good with good direction but mm-hmm. it's nice to play not forget that I think mm-hmm. it's uh, uh, if there is a force of our God, or, uh, I think this force of this God. Anyway, for me, I think the the um, uh, this this energy, this strength, have u- sense of humor for sure. Mm. I think that could please the the universe. I, I don't. I cannot imagine myself that uh, humor to play cannot please the universe. I think it should please the universe. All right. Um, well, my name is Luis Daniela Costa. Uh, I did the program I just uh, I, or the video shoot I thought it was a wonderful idea for the kids and and plus all my friends are in it it was just fun making this up with them and, and going through all the steps uh, I don't know it just and it's gen- and generally it's a great great idea mm-hmm. it's the least we can do like I had a small part really mm-hmm. uh, like I said I, I didn't I didn't care what it was I just wanted to be a part of it mm-hmm. uh, I did my little bit, and uh, I think yeah, there could have been a lot more things I could have done. We could have done if we were more planned, and mm-hmm. of course, I was willing to do more if, if I had if we had more to do. But yeah, sure, sure. But yeah, I think uh, I would love to have given more. But uh, 
I just had that part and but what you gave was fantastic I mean like that's just brilliant oh. stuff yeah. and then like the fun part for me was the dancing I, 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 they choreographed everything and learning it and that was just a lot of fun making it uh, we had a lot of little mess ups and <laughs> <laughs> it was just it was fun so it sounds like it's a little bit less pressure than your normal thing, yes, right? yes yeah. yes it, it was a lot less pressure yeah it's like I said it was more family more friends and, and it's just spend the day in a park and I was telling my friends after that I said we should do this more often just yeah. go to a park and hang out <laughs> and it was so nice to get away from work and mm. and even in the show it's not really so much uh, the stress of doing my, my performance uh, it's just doing it well every show you really want to give it 100% and uh, and of course not fall <laughs> so that's a bit of a pressure mm. but uh, in the, in this situation I, I can do the same but just not worry about making mistakes or mm -hmm. and, and and really just be more re at ease with it mm -hmm. as we're on, on the on the stage I'm I'm in my my little zone but I just try to just keep it up uh, keep the energy up every show keep it 100% mm. and that in itself can be quite exhausting <laughs> yeah I'm sure it can be yeah. quite exhausting yeah because it's, I mean, it's a great show it's a complex show. oh thank you, you you deliver this world like you know like I, I found that I was just completely sucked into to this world and it, it was a, to me it was a whole world just existing wow. right there it was like it's all, like you've got a window you can look into a fish tank and you see this fish tank with all the, the life going on in there and there's like <laughs> turtles and whatever it was the same kind of a thing it was just a complete organism a living breathing oh, thank organism you. And I just got completely lost in it. It's fantastic. I, it's a shame. I never really got to see the show. Mm. Once in a while, like they have run-throughs, I can watch parts of the show. And it's a shame because I'm, I'm usually backstage and, and I love doing the show and everything. But sometimes after so many shows, you kind of forget what it is you're doing. Mm. And once in a while, I get a chance to really to watch my friends perform or, or practice or something and with the music and... It does. It does kind of suck me, and it reminds me, like, wow, we really exactly presenting something. you're doing it, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and after a while, yeah, I kind of get lost. And I'm just like, okay, another day. But it's it's nice to remember that or to hear that from other people. Yeah. Because I, yeah, I kind of forget once in a while. Sure. Someday we, I just opened my email and I saw this email from Bernard talking about this project that works with kids and they needed some dancers and like me and Julia we work here it's like it's a permanent show and we do the same show every day so we really like to do different stuff we don't care about money we don't want to get paid we just want to do something for ourselves and that was a really good opportunity I mean like to do something for us and help other people that's amazing so we start talking to Chrissy and at in, at the first place we thought that she just needed some dancers but then like actually she needed much more than that and okay let's help her let's do the best that we can so because we have a lot of friends and so many talented people so okay let's do it and we put this video together to make things happen like to help other people and that feels really good yeah sure it does yeah yeah because it's great it's, it's a great involvement yeah you know you guys have such a busy schedule with your shows and everything else yeah, yeah we we really we had the biggest problem for us it was the like to put together everyone in the same day with a good weather yeah. because like the training we, we we are used to already because we we see each other almost every day so we can we can have meetings and we can do trainings whatever we want because we're always in the theater but to put everyone together that was the biggest challenge mm -hmm. i guess but every, everything was really good in the day of the shooting it was so fast and so funny i didn't even feel Hello everyone, I'm Giulia, I'm from Italy, I'm living in Japan since a couple of years. I'm working for Cirque du Soleil, I'm an, an acrobatic dancer. And uh, my idea of art always, it was always more than a normal show with audience, with people clapping their hands. It was more spread my voice, spread the feeling that I have uh, for the world, uh, for all those many problems that the world is facing right now. And I always thought, also when I was little, okay, I will try to make this world better using my art. God gave me this kind of art, using the body as a dancer. And uh, as soon as I received the email uh, from uh, Dance for Kids for this project to create this video clip to help uh, African kids, 
I didn't have any doubts. I immediately wanted to be part of the project. At the beginning, it was more as a choreographer. I thought, okay, I, I will give my idea. But then it was like too. Uh, it was so nice uh, after I talked to Chrissy, her energy, her passion uh, for what she's doing. That I said, okay, I will do whatever I can, anytime, anywhere. And uh, I'm glad that in my company I had, uh, I have good friends and good artists that they wanted to be part of this project too. After I asked them. So the expression of our body is for me like the expression of, of those kids in Africa. Try to give them um, a reason to believe that the world can, can be better, that their life can be better. That, yeah, believe in something and give them uh, some possibilities to grow up in a better way, even if they are facing a really terrible situation. But we are here also for that, trying to help people. Of course, our way, as I said already, it's, it's not like psychological way, uh, we are not doctor, but we can say that we are kind of doctor, like about uh, love. We, we can give loves with our movement, with our choreography, with our kind of expression. And uh, the day of the shooting was one of the best days since I'm here in Japan because it was th something that we decided to do. I mean, no one was there forcing, saying, okay, you have to do that, uh, uh, you have to smile, uh, there's audience here. No, no, it was something that was coming out from our heart. And the community, we were 15, 15 artists, uh, it was unbelievable. All smiling, all wanted to be there in that moment for this project. And uh, I can't wait, of course, to see the result of the video. Mm. But beside of the technique, uh, that it's like the less important. It's more, I really hope that with our face and our emotion, we, uh, we could be able to to spray the voice, to give something to them, to the African kids, but to the world in general. Mm. And I think uh, uh, in this, in the last decades of like years of um, cold life, uh, where young people are more interesting on being fashion or on being on TV or anyway famous, I really hope this video can give them uh, to all the all the new generation another point of view the point of view of working working on yourself working to create something and not just being the sheep and following the mm, group of people that say that it's cool uh, to be fashion arts recently is going a little bit on the shadow and uh, theater, thea theatrically, especially. So I also hope that those kids, they will learn from us uh, how to create something new with, with themselves, without the video games or uh, DVDs, a cartoon, whatever. No, we have everything in our hands. We can be dancer, we can be uh, writer, we can be, we can write a poem, uh, we can sing, uh, we can use our hands to build, to to paint. Uh, really, like in the past years, 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 years ago, um, men and women they create the world where we are living now. Now people they are destroying the world where we are living now. So, like, my idea is really to give uh, something more, to give uh, more hopes that the world can be better. And also um, facing sickness uh, and troubles. You can face sickness and troubles with a smile and try to fight for your rights and for the rights of who is beside you.